Hello! Daylight! Yes, uh, which means I haven't been working today. Which is not good. I mean, it's helping me get over my illness over the weekend, but it's not good. I like money. I like working. And um, I like money! Because with money, I can get more of these. Yes, it's a Z Box unboxing time. Um, I'm thinking, I don't know what the theme is. Um, possibly Marvel related, because Ant Man and the Wasp one came out um, here. Uh, review a couple of steps down. Feel free to watch that, that'd be awesome. Um, but I'm thinking there might be a mug or something in there because uh, that's very um, very heavy to one side. <laughs> to, to one, it, it definitely has a, it definitely wants to go that way. Um, so yeah, uh, Z Box. Um, I think they start at 19.99, um, but I got the three month plan, so it's slightly less than that. But if you go month by month, it's 19.99. Um, usually four or five items. It is themed, but I didn't look it up yet. Um, yeah, uh, I, I stopped doing them for a little while. I started doing them again just to see. Um, we shall see. This is the second of the three of the month, so. Um, next month will be the one if I decide to carry on. But this month, we're just going with it. Does it say? No, it just says August. So I think there's a mug or something heavy in here, and there's always a t shirt. So um, we'll see what else we've got. Except my door's knocking, excuse me. Ah. <sighs> yeah, sorry, I was waiting for a beep. Um, yeah, sorry, that was uh, Gasman um, coming to do an audit because our meter is in the corner and it's very awkward. <sighs> he's decided he's going to come back another day so, uh, so we can sort it all out. So yeah, sorry about that. Uh, that should have been me going ha ah, and then a couple of seconds of me going so we're good, we're good. Right, so where was I? Box. Yes, it has a, uh, it has a seal on the bottom. Um, I have to have a paring knife to hand because I'm uh, I was eating an apple. It's, I'm not not regularly ever do. I've got like a sharp knife around, but we'll have to open it like that. Should be good to go. So I don't know the theme. I'm hoping it's Marvel rated. Um, as always, uh, as a caveat with these um, general geeky boxes, I'm not a fan of everything. Nobody's a fan of everything. So it's always possible that I'm getting an item that isn't my fandom. But if I'm disappointed with it, it's because it's not my fandom, not because the item itself is necessarily bad. It's just not my not my usual thing, or I would have chosen to buy it. But usually it is good value, just not my fandom. Right, that being said, let us let us begin. And we first of all have bubble wrap. I'll do things. There we go. Get the air bubbles to keep up safe. Um, and already, oh, the t-shirt looks interesting. Yes, there is a glass. There is a heavy item, and it is Suicide Squad. Um, so I've got like I've got like three of these heavy glasses now. I've got one for Harry Potter. I've got a oh a Harley Quinn glass. And now I've got this. Now I've not seen the Su um, Suicide Squad. I've had very mixed reviews, but in terms of just the artwork, need a uh, what's that? Oh, that'll be alright. In terms of just the artwork, there you go. Um, that's kind of cool. Um, and you know you can never have too many pint glasses. And the cool thing about um, a bit of customised pint glasses is that you know if you, you're at a party which I very rarely have but if you're at a gathering you know if you've all got the same glasses then you can get like jewellery and stuff to put in them to have identifiers but with things like this oh who had the Suicide Squad who had the Harley Quinn who had the Hogwarts you know so you, you know which is your glass because it's because it's Suicide Squad or, you know, something else. So, not a fan of the films. I haven't watched the film, so I can't judge the film. I like the artwork. I'm more of a Marvel fan than DC, so uh, there's that. Um, but this is cool. This is this is really cool. It's a practical item. So I like that. 
Uh, let me do then. Uh, the t-shirt looks like it's a uh, classic 80s movie with a classic 80s that is just pure that is it's official I'm definitely gonna wear the hell out of this I don't know if it's glow in the dark but it is E.T. and this is kind of fun oh, I've never had like an actual I've got okay so this is what I was starting to say so I was about to say it's kind of funny because the last um, like one of the last Harry Potter boxes, the Wizarding boxes, I got the the big moon with Hagrid flying across it um, with um, like at the beginning, so with baby Harry. Um, so that was cool. I also happen to have one that is, I don't know if it was featured in Muppets from Space, but it was definitely a parody that invokes that and it's um, Kermit with Gonzo in the basket at the front so I've got at least those two like parody of E.T. you know that image from E.T. I've never actually had an E.T. t-shirt or anything like that and this is so pretty I because I don't know if it glows in the dark I'm not sure what image you'd put in there unless it's like the, the ouch that kind of thing but look at that look at the detail on the on the basket and Elliot's cloak and the trees the moonscape itself this is a very cool t-shirt i like this i'm very happy with the t-shirt there is a coin so let's see what the collectible coin is this time jaws do i have jaws i've got a jurassic park i've got star wars and something else i don't think i've got jaws i'm doing all right for these at the moment i've gotten quite a few um they are smaller so you need to sort of collect them up um, the one thing I haven't got yet is Back to the Future I want the Back to the Future coin please someone oh they're just so awkward to open though they've got these things you have to do them over the shoulder and there we go there's that and that and let's pop it out so we've got oh by the way um, thanks for not pointing it out but um, I said like oh I'm looking at the bottom thousand yeah there, there's only a thousand ever issued Oh, this one's 2000 but well, that was the gold one <coughs> so the i have never seen jaws by the way just putting that out there um so the front is the classic jaws coming out of the water with number which is 2000 something and then on the back we have uh amity is that M M T island Oh, Empty Islands welcomes you. I'm probably saying that wrong. Um, there you go. But uh, yeah, you've got a nice, uh, a nice little scene with the lighthouse and looking over the sea. So that I like. I like that. It's very cool. Like I said, I'm getting quite a few of these collectible coins now. So um, it's all good. What's this? What are you? Um, oh, okay. Um, we have a theme. Blockbusters makes sense. So yes, Jaws. E.T. Suicide Squad? <laughs> um, I'll look at that properly in a minute because there might be some spoilers. Um, less of a question mark on our Blockbusters thing is Captain America. Oh, sorry, I just picked it up because I, I thought it was like a rubberized one. But hey, Captain America, rubberized Kiwi. That's kind of cool. But look, it's, it's flathead screwdriver, bottle opener, scissors, and crosshead screwdriver. So that's... um pop this open and um, check it out closely that's cool so the Avengers I would put more as a blockbuster I think I don't know the exact box office I think wasn't Suicide Squad slightly better like it had like the very mixed reviews but I think people were more because I haven't seen the last DC property I saw I didn't even see it in cinema was the last um, was, was the Dark Knight, I didn't see the third one uh, I can't think the last time I saw a DC film in the cinema I am planning on seeing Tea Titans Go but actual DC project in the cinema I, I don't think I've seen any DC projects in the cinema huh um, so there you go, that's the uh, up front of the uh, up close to the front and then the back which I think is just like the usual things um, so yeah, uh, I I think even watching um oh there we go, 
even from watching that trailer as someone who hasn't really been a big fan of the other DC film that didn't look, look good or appealing. Um, I Because I've got Prime now and they have a lot of the DC stuff on there. I was looking, they've got like Man of Steel and... Um, you know, I think they've got Suicide Squad. But they've definitely got like um, Batman vs Superman and I was saying to Aaron like, oh, so I can actually watch these. I don't have to pay any extra. They're just part of my, you know, my thing. Um, how bored do I have to be? He goes, very, as in, you've done everything you can or would or want to do. That's how bored you need to be. So that's one person's opinion, but it does seem to be a consensus. But what I'm trying to say whilst I'm getting this out is that even as a viewer, as a person... Okay, so you get two sides as a flathead. Um, is that I saw the Suicide Squad trailer and I was like... Well, at least that looks colourful, you know, at least that looks like it might be a bit more interesting than the other films coming out. Um, so maybe that's what the what the deal is there, that other people have looked at that trailer and thought, well, there's colour to it at least, and there you go, there's the uh, crosshead, which is going to be an interesting one, I'm not sure how you use that. Um, but yeah, this is very cool. This is very cool. Um, doesn't look quite like it's a pattern when they're all out, but, you know. It's uh, a neat, a very neat practical item. That's got to be worth a few quid on its own. Um, so yeah, maybe that's why Suicide Squad possibly could have done a bit better, be you know, because you know people who hadn't bothered with other ones goes, oh, well, at least that's more colourful, and hey, it's got Will Smith. <clears throat> so that's my thoughts. I don't know if I'd necessarily call it a blockbuster the same way the Avengers or Jaws or E.T. But it did okay for itself, so there you go. Uh, what else have we got? We've got a poster! Uh, Warner Brothers. Oh, Harry Potter! There you go. Let's be, let's be honest. Um, Harry Potter is probably the best thing uh, Warner Brothers currently has. Um, and again, we've got the new... Let's see if I can work out which film it is, just from this green bit. Oh, um, it looks quite dark and ominous. So I'm going on just on that bit. Could be one of Deathly Hallows. Deathly Hallow movies, maybe. And oh no, it's ah, there we go. It's the Patronus. And you know what? It's the one I've got as a light box art. But that's still nice. It's very cool. Um, it's a neat little poster. Probably worth about a fiver. So um, you know, can't complain. If I didn't have anything else with this image on it, I'd, st I'd be like more enthusiastic. But I do have a couple of things with this image on. But that doesn't mean it's a bad image, it just means I kind of have it. Um, I have... If I didn't have the light box, and I didn't have like other, like a hundred other posters and artworks that I haven't put up yet... And it probably is getting into the hundreds now. Wow. Between, between actually having bought a whole bunch of posters, um, just for me because they're on offer. GB posters is really good for that. I bought a whole lot of um, Sherlock ones, a couple of Friends ones. Um, and obviously the various artworks, even the A4 ones, that we have a lot of room for. But if, you know, if someone had randomly bought me this box and I didn't have any of the other poster artwork and I, you know, was still into Harry Potter, then yeah, this is a very cool art. And it's probably rolled up and it's very neat and tidy, so points for that. There is one other item in here. And it is uh, Avengers Infinity War 34 decals. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Um, what do we got here? We got we got everything. We got a lot of everything going on. So to stick onto your um, your computer or your your phone. I'm not big for sticking things on my phone, but I have been known to stick things on my computer. So let's see. Like, Gently cut the circle here, then it won't rip. Hey, then you have to cut the circle. And gently pull that. Come on, out you come. There we go. Roll, don't cruise. That's kind of neat. So you've got the um, Thanos over the thing coming over quite neatly. Um, yeah, I'm not so big fan of sticking things to my phone. Um, mostly because, like I said, I have a case and it would fall off the case, so I can't really see the point in that. But actually, sticking stuff to my computer has been known. Um, so, what do we got? We've got a couple of Thanos, um, Gamora, uh, Strange. That actually, my um, 
computer is purple. So, going on the, where's the front image? Yeah, Give, if it goes like that, I might stick that one on it because, like I said, I've got a purple computer. That might look really cool on there. Usually when I get stuff like this, like stickers and, and decals, like those um, iron-ons I had in the last box, I tend to just keep them because I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them, I want to save them. Oh yeah, I've got that plastic smells, i got that. That's one sheet, uh, two sheets, uh, three sheet, which is a lot going on there, some interesting images. We go in frame. And a fourth sheet, which I quite like, I think might be my favourite sim for simplicity, is all the character logos. So yeah, this is cool. This is this is again, it's the sort of thing that I wouldn't necessarily buy for myself, but I'm happy to have it. So overall, this is a really cool box. The only item that for me I would say is kind of questionable, and that's because I haven't really, you know, you know. Questionable is not the right word. The only one that I'm less convinced by is the glass, but then again, it's of glass and it's really cool. So like you said, at parties, you know, you got your own, everyone could choose a glass and nobody's gonna mix up your drinks. So that's cool. Uh, the coin is the coin and I like this. I just haven't seen yours. But the t-shirt's amazing. The poster's really neat. I just have the image before. And we're getting all right. I mean, we got, how many items we got? We've got, I think, favorites. So we've got the t-shirt, we've got these, we've got the glass, we've got the key ring, the coin, and the poster. So that's six items. That's really good for, like I said, I was expecting like four or five. Um, these, these collector coins alone are about £15. Like I said, this is like a heavy metal key ring toolkit. That's probably going to be at least enough, a fiver. Five to ten pound for a glass because it is like i said it's a heavy based ten pound for the t-shirt fiver for the poster decals again five to ten pounds i'm not sure i'd ever buy them <coughs> yeah definitely made the money definitely what we're saying 10 25 35 50 with that coin uh what is the book today does the book say anything Book says four ninety nine. What's in the box? Um, they say box of themselves as much so like people. Oh, okay, so this is like previous boxes like before I was collecting. Is that a squishy D twelve? That's awesome. I would have liked that. Um, Hellboy coin. Oh, that would been cool. Uh, really cool. Ooh, I like that um, Hogwarts T shirt. I kind of designed something like that myself, like I didn't post it anyway. But the idea of the animals coming out of the crest, so I like that. Uh, convention pictures, looking very cool. Blockbuster aliens, so obviously we've got ET, the Xenomorph, prawns from District 9, Ewoks, and Station, Bill and Ted's epic uh, bogus journey. Uh, Dear White Extraterrestrial is known as being handy and making some seriously superior tech, called upon by most. Predation exercises Bill and Ted. Station help these wild stallions to overthrow evil. Uh, Dementius. Oh, the Bill and Ted androids. I haven't seen Bogus Journey for ages. There's a VIP club that you're simply a member of by collecting these things. So that's cool if you get exclusives. Um, okay, so. Ooh! I was right! Um, it does say it's glow in the dark. So I'll have to check that out later. Um, so yeah, the t-shirt does glow in the dark. That's cool. Um, a po Patronus poster, Infinity War decals, Captain America shield key ring. Ah, okay, so there was a chance of getting the gold one. So it was silver or gold. So I got the silver, but I'm okay with that. I've, so far the only gold one I've got is um, Star Wars. The only gold one I want is Back to the Future. <laughs> so that's what I want. Um, who's Afraid of Sharks? There's a whole big shark article. Kind of cool. The correct order to watch all of the MCU. As a word search. I like these. They've, um, they've, they've uh, put some effort into them. 
into this. So, there we go, that is, in case you were wondering what they believe is the correct order to watch the MCU. I haven't read this list myself. Um, one thing I will agree, disagree with slightly is pff, this was probably published before Ant Man came out, Ant Man and Wasp came out. So, yeah, if you've seen Ant Man and Wasp, then you, you know roughly where that goes. Uh, as of the case of MCU, blah blah blah. Um, officially like some merchandise, things in um, other languages. And then next month's theme, monsters! I'm looking forward to that for the following reason. I am not the biggest horror fan in the sense that I don't tend to watch a lot of horror films overall. However, I do enjoy, you know, if I watch them, I, I watch them, I enjoy them, I like them. I just don't tend to seek them out. So I wouldn't consider myself a horror fan, but I am someone who will enjoy a horror if it's on. Regardless of that, whether or not you are into that fandom or not, the artwork is almost always brilliant. So, yeah. <laughs> it, it's going to be interesting. I mean, at the very least, it should be very creative. Also, if in case you've noticed, because I did. So, let's go back to what's in the box. So, these are your things that are officially in the box. We officially have... The t-shirt. We officially have the poster. We officially have the awesome keyring. Oh, we officially have the decals. So we got one, two, one, two, three, four so far. And then we officially have our collector's coin. This isn't in the box. This is not featured in the magazine, which means whilst I, you can argue the validity of being a blockbuster, it is a bonus item. So that actually makes it a little bit cooler because it was not intended to be there originally. I did get some emails saying, hey, sorry, we know you're, we're late. Um, so I don't know if they threw that in as an apology for the box being late. If they did, cool, thank you. Um, but yeah, so... It won't, you know, so we can argue the validity of it being a blockbuster or not, it's a bonus item, so there you go. Um, the fact that this glow is glow in the dark is awesome, and I don't know, let me see if I can... Yeah, it's kind of cool, I mean, it's it's hard to tell at the moment, it's, um, I don't know, can you, can you see, does that, does that work for you? Probably not. So, I like this box! And I'm looking forward to Monsters next month, and I've probably forgotten the theme, and I'm going over 20 minutes, and that's really long for an unboxing video. So I'm going to say thank you for watching, you are awesome, especially if you've made it all the way to the end. Please do like, share, and subscribe. I recently lost a subscriber, I don't know why. They could have bounced off, they could have, um, you know, just decided they didn't want to do this anymore. But I have noticed that these unboxing videos seem to be my most popular, and I wish I could afford to do more of them, because, um, you know, my financial situation... Um, I can afford what I can afford right now. So I do have a Patreon. I don't really talk about it much, but if you, you know, you go to Patreon, look up Phoenix Eleven, it's there. Um, but I'm not going to sort of pimp that or say you have to go do it. If you do, that would be awesome. If not, cool. Um, it's just I'm I'm only saying it now because these are the videos that actually get the reviews. So why not? Um, but obviously, if people were to support me on Patreon, I could then get more of the boxes. But that's, that's just as a maybe, it's just as an aside, um, I'm not going to worry about it. But yeah, like, subscribe, share, comments, I always love the comments. Um, and thank you. I've been Michelle, you've been listening, and I will see you next time. Bye!